allow, allow, artificial, artificial, become a reality, become a reality, biological, biological, brain, brain, colorblind, colorblind, develop, develop, device, device, disability, disability, fascination, fascination, flesh, flesh, function, function, identify, identify, limb, limb, muscle, muscle, nerve, nerve, part mechanical, part mechanical, sophisticated, sophisticated, wire, wire, The Age of Cybernetics What is a cyborg? It is a being that has both biological and artificial parts. Have you noticed how many science fiction stories have got cyborg characters? To start with, there are the Borg in Star Trek and the Cybermen in Doctor Who. And do you remember the Terminator films? They showed machines that had a human appearance and living flesh on top of their metal skeletons. In Robocop, the main character is a police officer who looks like a machine. But beneath its robotic body, he has a human mind with human feelings. So why is there so much fascination with these part biological, part mechanical beings? Is it because some people dream of one day becoming like machines? Or is it that we just want to use technology to help people with disabilities? Which is probably a bit of both. But the reality is that cyborgs will be here sooner than we realise. For example, there are many scientists that have been trying to use sophisticated technology in medicine. Doctors have already developed robotic limbs that can be attached to humans. In 2001, an American technician Jesse Sullivan lost both of his arms in an accident. With the help of robotic technology, he now has two robotic arms. He can control them through wires on his chest that pick up signals from his brain. These signals are then carried to his mechanical arms through nerves in his chest muscles. Artists have benefited from robotic technology too. In 2003, engineers developed an eyeborg for a completely colourblind artist, Neil Harbison. The eyeborg is a very clever, camera-like device. The artist wears it on his head and this allows him to identify colours. This technology can make a huge difference to thousands of people around the world. Many people who lose an arm or a leg will have the chance to live almost normal lives again. So what does this mean for the future of science? Some scientists believe that we are entering the age of cybernetics. Man and machine are going to become one and no one really knows how far this will go. Without a doubt, there will soon be artificial limbs available for people who need them. These people will be able to control these limbs through microchips found in their brains. And there's so much more than that. Engineers will design smart joints such as knees and ankles that will function just like real ones. Some scientists believe it will even be possible to make artificial eyes that can see better than human eyes. Perhaps we are not quite there yet, but one thing is for sure. The idea of a real cybernetic man is getting closer to becoming a reality.